I've just deleted hundreds of videos from my YouTube channel. Let's talk about it. So if you're new here, if you've just happened to have stumbled across this channel for the first time, then hello. My name is Lisa. I'm a musician in Northern Ireland. And for the past three and a half years, I've been uploading music videos onto this YouTube channel. Some original music, some traditional music from Ireland and Scotland and also a whole lot of cover songs. I started this channel in February 2020 because I wanted to learn how to record music at home and I'm very much a learn by doing kind of person and so I thought well if I make a schedule where I have to have a video up on Fridays every single week on this YouTube channel then it would sort of force me to stick to a deadline and to learn how to record music along the way which I have done and since then I've written my own music and I've recorded a whole EP of music from home and I've just really enjoyed the whole process of it and so three and a half years later I'm still doing it. Of course over that time I recorded a whole lot of cover songs because that's what I started off by doing because I never expected to write my own music I was just learning how to record songs and so I recorded the songs that I knew how to play and the songs that I liked playing and a lot of people <laughs> like to hear them so I just kept recording cover songs and over time I ended up with well over 300 videos on this YouTube channel. I know I never got the correct music licenses that you're supposed to get. Um, on a side note, most musicians on YouTube don't get the actual correct licenses that they're supposed to get. And at the end of the day, I was just creating this channel because I just wanted to learn how to record music. I never wanted to make money off YouTube. I never have made money off YouTube. I've never, even though ads run on my videos, you might have seen a few ads. I don't earn money from that. How it works is that if I record a cover song and put it up on YouTube, the copyright holder of that song will run ads on the video and they will earn all the money generated from those ads. And so it's a win-win situation because I get to put up a cover song and the person who wrote the song gets the money for it, which is the way it should be. So that's why I never tried to obtain any licenses or try to get any royalties from anything was because I never wanted to make money off YouTube and I wanted to make sure that the artist was getting all the money for that. I never expected over time that I would create such a lovely community here on YouTube and I really appreciate everyone who has really enjoyed these videos that I've made and has joined in on any live streams that I've done and the people who leave me comments and contact me about the videos. So I really, really appreciate all of you. And so that's why I've kept doing what I've been doing. However, I was recently issued a copyright strike which is different than a copyright claim, which is what the majority of the cover songs get on the videos. Um, the claim just means that the copyright holder is going to claim all of the revenue on the video, which as I say, I was 100% fine with that. That's how it should be. But a strike is like a huge black mark against your name. And I got one of those recently about two months ago. And then the other day I got a second one and if you get three then the entire channel gets deleted for good. <laughs> so not not something that I wanted and it's all because the videos that have the strikes against them were videos that I put out years ago. So it's just become a recent problem and obviously I don't want to lose my channel and I'd rather have something left rather than nothing left. I also have a lot of my own music here on YouTube. I have my music videos for the music that I've released on Spotify, like my Heritage album and my recent Voice of the Island EP, which is just what I feel is a little bit unfair about this whole process, is the fact that one person can put a strike against your channel and that could lead to me losing everything, including everything that's mine or it also means that the artists that were receiving revenue from my other cover songs, they would lose that as well. So it just all seems a little bit unfair. However, the people that own the rights, 
they they own those rights so they have the right to take the video down and to issue the strike so i really can't argue against that and i understand that copyright law is a really tricky complicated thing but yeah i just don't want to lose my whole channel because of it and lose everything that i've made that that is mine that i've created 100 percent and so that is why i have tried to mitigate any risk of receiving that dreaded third strike um so i have decided to delete anything on this channel that i did not write myself or that isn't in the public domain like traditional music or classical music so i just wanted to make this video just to let you know because as i say i know that so many of you expect these videos and you've been so kind as to always leave me comments and to join in with any live stream and I really, really appreciate you. And so I just wanted to keep you informed as to why a whole bunch of videos have just suddenly disappeared. But if you're new here and you don't really care about those old videos, then um, well, here's what you can expect from this channel going forward. I will of course be creating a lot more original music and sharing a lot more songs that I've written. Um, I'll be exploring a lot more traditional music. I'm still gonna be doing my live streams, but unfortunately I'll not be able to do the typical song request live streams that I was doing even though I enjoyed them so much but I will keep doing those on Thursday evenings so if that all sounds good to you then please do subscribe to the channel or the very best way for us to keep connected is through my mailing list I will leave a link to where you can sign up to the email list um, in the description box down below thank you all so much for sticking with me these past couple of years supporting me as I say I never expected this to go anywhere i just wanted to learn how to record music and share it with anyone who wanted to listen and i was surprised that so many people did want to listen so thank you so much for being here and for supporting me and for listening to this little mini rant <laughs> about copyright and just the confusing world that is music copyright law so thank you so much for watching if you're interested and you want to listen to some of my original songs, I will leave a link on the screen to a playlist where you can go and check them out. That's it for now and I'll see you again soon.